Subscribe to our channel now and press the bell icon to never miss an update from Kim's Global. Hi, I'm Dr. S.V. Praveen, Consultant Interventional Cardiologist working at Kim's Hospital, Trivandrum. Heart attack or heart disease happens due to blockage in the blood vessels of the heart. We know the heart is a structure which constantly beats from the time a person is born to his very last breath. So to keep the heart supplied with nutrients and blood to beat, there are blood vessels which supply blood to the heart. These blood vessels are called coronary arteries. When a blockage in one or more of these coronary arteries develop, we have heart disease or coronary artery disease. When these blockages are very tight or significant blockage happens, we need to treat them. So the treatment can be either by an angioplasty or a bypass surgery. In an angioplasty or a minimally invasive procedure, what we actually do? We put in tubes through the blood vessels of the groin or the hand. And through these tubes or catheters, we go into the occluded or narrowed blood vessels of the heart. We open up the blocks, we put in a stent and that is called an angioplasty. It is a minimally invasive procedure. Suppose the blocks are too much, too hard or the treating cardiologist feels that the blocks are to be treated not by an angioplasty but by an open surgery. We call it a bypass surgery. The bypass surgery is done by the cardiovascular surgeon where we open the chest by an incision. The blocked blood vessels are identified and bypasses or bypass vessels which are often harvested from the leg or inside the chest are put across the block to bypass these blocks and to have good blood flow to the heart. So, in short, the difference between an angioplasty and bypass surgery is in angioplasty, the blocks are cleared by putting a stent as a minimally invasive surgery, whereas in bypass surgery, the chest is cut open and the multiple blocks are bypassed by grafts.